Welcome to Effector from the Electronic Frontier Foundation. This is the audio edition of EFF's email newsletter geared towards keeping you on the bleeding edge of your digital rights. This is Effector Volume 36, Issue 13, titled Digital ID Isn't for Everybody, and That's Okay. This issue was published in October 2024, and I'm your host, membership advocate Christian Romero. Let's start with our top feature. Digital ID isn't for everybody, and that's okay. Mobile driver's licenses and digital IDs are being deployed faster than states can craft privacy protections, including for presenting your ID to more third parties than ever before. And while digital ID is being proposed as a means of online verification, it is just as likely to block claims of public assistance as facilitate them. That's why legal protections are at least as important as the digital IDs themselves and why lawmakers should ensure better access for people without a digital ID. Now, let's roll through some EFF updates. First up, EFF to Supreme Court, strike down Texas's unconstitutional age verification law. The U.S. Supreme Court's ruling in this case will have major consequences for the freedom of adults to safely and anonymously access protected speech online. Next up, Britain must call for release of British-Egyptian activist and coder Allah Abdel Fattah. British-Egyptian coder, blogger, and activist Allah Abdel Fattah unjustly charged and imprisoned outside Cario for supporting online free speech and privacy for Egyptians and people across the Middle East and North Africa must be freed. Next up, school monitoring software sacrifices student privacy for unproven promises of safety. We urge schools to focus on creating a positive, caring environment, rather than subjecting students to ever-increasing scrutiny through school surveillance AI. Next up, you really do have some expectation of privacy in public. The courts may still be catching up with the law and technology, but that doesn't mean it's a surveillance free-for-all just because you're out in public. And for our last update, FTC report confirms commercial surveillance is out of control. Yeah, it's just as bad as you thought, if not worse. Now, let's go through some announcements. First up, EFF Livestream Series, How to Protest with Privacy in Mind. Do you know what to do if you're subjected to a search or arrest at a protest? Join EFF at 10 a.m. Pacific Time on Thursday, October 17th for a live stream discussion about how to protect your electronic devices and digital assets before, during, and after a demonstration. Learn how you can avoid confiscation or forced deletion of media and keep your movements and associations private. And for our last announcement, EFF at TechCrunch Disrupt. EFF is excited to be at TechCrunch Disrupt from October 28th through 30th in San Francisco for the first time. Stop by the EFF booth in the Expo Hall to chat with our team about the latest developments in defending digital freedom for all. Digital Freedom supporters can even get a 35% discount off any ticket type by using code EFF35 when registering online. We'll see you there. Now, let's go through a few job openings. First up, Nonprofit CRM Analyst. EFF is looking for a full-time Dynamics Analyst to support the development team's use of the CRM to maximize our efficiency in fundraising. You will be responsible for managing and maintaining our organization's Dynamics 365 environment in cooperation with IT and engineers within the organization, a role that's crucial in enhancing our operational efficiency and effectiveness across the organization. Next up, legal interns. The application deadline for the spring 2025 intern class is November 1st. EFF's legal internships provide law students with a unique opportunity to develop valuable skills and real-world experience while working with a nationally recognized public interest law firm. Legal interns will learn from and assist EFF staff attorneys in all aspects of litigation. Hey look, we've made it to the mini-links. First up, from Mother Jones, Big Tech would be key to delivering Project 2025's anti-abortion plans. Quote, Tech companies need to realize that they are culpable because our lives are connected online, and the industry at large is already mechanized to connect everything about us into one profile and to sell that data to anyone who wants it, including law enforcement, end quote, EFF's Daily Barnett said. Next up, from Thomson Reuters Foundation, X-Ban in Brazil, Disdainful Defiance Meets Tough Enforcement. Musk's disdainful defiance has been met with drastic enforcement measures, 
EFF's Verdiana Alemanti wrote, Much is on the line for democracy, the rule of law, and free expression when such power struggles ramp up. This next one comes from Arizona Republic. Police drones could silently video your backyard. That's a problem. Law enforcement's use of drones will only proliferate in the coming years, and drone capabilities continue to evolve rapidly, EFF's Hannah Zhao wrote. Courts and legislatures must keep pace to ensure that privacy rights do not fall victim to the advancement of technology. Our last mini-link comes from NBC Nightly News, behind-the-scenes look at the NFL's facial authentication technology. EFF's Matthew Gariglia explained privacy concerns over the face recognition technology that the National Football League has installed at every stadium. And that's a wrap. Thanks for listening. If you like what you're hearing or would like to learn more, subscribe at EFF.org slash Effector. Did you know EFF is a member-supported nonprofit organization? You can help us protect digital freedoms online for everyone by donating at EFF.org slash Effect. Thanks for your support, and I hope you'll join us for the next issue of Effector.